Hey guys, welcome to the Creation YouTube channel. My name is Yaya and today I am going to be walking you guys through how I create my content using the Gym Graphics version 3 from the Creation Store. These graphics are now available on Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, and as well as DaVinci Resolve. So let's hop into it. I'm going to just walk you guys through how I apply these graphics onto my content. So hopping onto Final Cut Pro, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select new project and I'm going to name my project. So here I'm just going to say uh, dumbbell workout. It is a dumbbell lower body workout, uh, lower body. And then we're going to get started. I just use the automatic settings. You are able to customize your settings, but for me, automatic settings work just good uh, for Instagram reels or TikTok. So let's get right into it. Now that we have our timeline ready, what I want to do is uh, drag down a clip onto the timeline. So for today, we're just gonna work with one clip just so I can show you guys how I bring this content to life. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like scroll th through this clip and kind of find the actual exercise that I'm doing. Okay, so I think, I think that that side is good. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut this down to about 10 seconds so obviously if i'm doing six different exercises if i'm doing eight to ten seconds that's easily going to accumulate to about 60 seconds when you're doing an instagram reel you don't want it to be too long you know you want it to be quick quick but you want it to give quality and you want it to bring value to your people so that's exactly what i'm doing here i think 10 seconds is perfect for a clip like this I'm just watching it through just to make sure that I have everything that I want. Okay, I think it's looking good. Perfect. So, before I apply the muscle graphics, what I like to do is I like to add a gradient. This gradient is from the Creation Store as well. So, if you are interested in adding a gradient, onto your video before you add the muscle graphics i highly recommend it just makes the graphic pop out and it's just more clear it just doesn't blur into the video so i'm gonna go ahead and then i want to set the opacity of the gradient as you can see here just watching the video the gradient is pretty dark now i can't really see the video especially because i'm wearing black I want the opacity to be a little bit lower. Usually 80% is my sweet spot when I'm wearing color. So I'm going to try that out and see. Mm, I think it's okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and make it maybe 75 since I'm wearing black. I feel like I can have it a little bit lower. And let me watch that through and see. Okay, perfect. Okay, I think she looks good. She looks good. She looks good. Okay, perfect. So next thing now that I want to do is I want to go under my gym graphics that I'm going to be using today. Like I said, we're using the version 3. So there's a lot to, cho to choose from. But personally, my favorites are the muscle graphics right over here. Um, and number 8 is my girl. I love number 8. Me and her are just best friends. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drag this down onto the timeline on top of the video um, and as you can see when i drag it down it's pretty large so i'm going to go ahead here on the right hand side i'm able to play with the per perimeters obviously i do this i've been doing this for a while now so my scale that i like to use is 35 percent i feel like it's not too big and it's not too small you're able to showcase the whole graphic without it taking up the whole screen so now that i've set my scale i also want to play around with the position because right now it's in the middle of the screen so on the y-axis i think i want to bring it in a little bit more so that it doesn't cut out when i do post it I think maybe five on the x axis okay yep five looks good and then for instagram reels my y axis that i use is minus 25. oh no i mistakenly selected the x axis but for the s axis we're gonna we're going to do five like i said and then for the y axis 
I'm going to go ahead and select minus 25 because I like my graphics to be on the left hand corner at the bottom but I don't want them to cut off either so minus 25 is perfect for Instagram reels and when I'm doing TikToks I do minus 19 for the y-axis perfect so now that we have that sorted the next thing to do is we want to select the view so as you can see we go from position scale opacity and then we can select the view so when we're selecting the view we are selecting the view whether we're showcasing the back muscles or the front muscles this is a single leg hip thrust that is obviously working the glute med and the glute max so i'm going to select view for the back perfect and then my next thing that i want to do is i want to scroll down and i'm going to select um, the muscles that i'm working which is right here at the bottom under back muscles we're going to select glute medias and the glute maximus perfect so obviously when i dragged and dropped it came as red that is how the pack come they come in red and white but i love to match my graphics to my outfit so what i like doing is i like playing around with the color gradients here just seeing what color goes best with what i'm wearing so today i'm wearing black i don't want to use black because it's just gonna all blend in together it's not gonna look good so i'm thinking of a lightish gray color Mm, let's play around here and see what we can find i'm thinking maybe 102 102 okay 102 looks good so we're going to select 102 and we're going to apply that for um the arrow two as well so everything that's red i want to change it to match the muscle so let's uh, find that 102 and you want to make sure that your colors look the same so if you're somebody that forgets easily make sure you write that color down so that when you're applying it to other clips on your timeline you can easily remember and everything can look uniform and it can just look nice and neat and well thought through okay perfect so now that's done now we go ahead and we want to label our exercise and then we also want to go ahead and set the number of reps and the number of sets that you did so for this exercise i did three sets three sets and then we did eight to ten reps i love these muscle graphics because they really bring value to a lot of people especially when people are beginners now i'm going to go ahead and label this as a single leg hip thrust because that's the exercise that we are showcasing but like as I, as I was saying, these graphics really bring value to a lot of people. I didn't realize it until recently, you know, especially when somebody is a beginner. They don't know what muscles they're doing when they're working a certain exercise. And it's so easy for us creators to be like, mind muscle connection, mind muscle connection. But if somebody is a big beginner, they're not going to know what muscle group we're talking about so these these graphics really bring value to a lot of people and i love doing it and that you know i'm able to make it myself by matching the colors to my outfit so i i enjoy doing it and it just makes it that that much more enjoyable when people really enjoy this type of content that brings value and as you can see right here that says single leg hip thrust it's looking a little bit too big for my liking so i'm going to play around with the font size right now it's at 50 i'm thinking maybe 45 would be a good yeah 45 <clears throat> let's see what 40 looks like i think 40 might be too small mm, yeah 40 is a little bit too small so we're just going to go ahead and go back to 45 so as you can see that's one clip done and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and have all your clips on the same timeline because in that way you are able to really have everything looking uniform when you're creating a reel or you're creating an instagram or a reel or a tiktok but yeah these graphics are amazing and like i said this specific one is my favorite one um i just love the way i can just make it me i make it yaya i love i love wearing color i love wearing matching 
matching workout sets so just being able to do this really brings me a lot of joy and the creation team and the creation community is just so amazing i know when i first started i didn't know what i was doing i was so lost but you know contacting them through instagram was just so easy and so refreshing because they're quick to respond and they're quick to understand um that you know we 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 want to grow as creators and um you know they the community is amazing like i said they are very helpful and super supportive with the creators that are in the community um which is really what i love about using creation and you know they they're always coming out with some new stuff and me i love to experience experiment so it's always easy for me to just experiment with with these graphics and just try to find new ways to um, create my content and to bring value to my community as well so um, the clip is done and what we do here on Final Cut Pro is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to save that clip as I am finished um, you always also want to just to you want to read through just to make sure that it looks good but as soon as I'm done I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export it I just do Apple devices at 1080 and then it's already saved as dumbbell lower body and then I say next and then I save it and you pick where you want to save your clip perfect and then that is now setting to save I hope you guys found this video valuable I hope it helps you to be able to create your own content and really bring your content to life and create content that speaks of who you are and shows people who you are and I found that in using these graphics they've really helped me out so much and the growth from when I first started using these back in 2021 to now has been tremendous and I'm just so grateful for the creation team uh, but like I said my name is Yaya and you are able to find me on Instagram TikTok and as well as YouTube at Yaya Chima, which is Y A Y A T S H U M A. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video from the Creation Channel.